Hello and welcome to Managing the Speed Bumps to Your Success. I'm your host, Tim Marvel, the process design expert. The topic today is compounding and one-line repair orders. The purpose of today's module is to gain a working knowledge of compounding and how that could affect single-line repair orders. The important point to make for you is about how your effort could easily be multiplied for improved outcomes. First, compounding is simple. Let's do a quick exercise using a single penny. What would it look like if you doubled a penny for 31 days? Each day you would double whatever the value. What would that look like? Notice after 7 days or 1 week, it's not worth 62 cents. And notice after 14 days, it's worth $81. Not overly impressive at this time. The penny is growing each day. This is all about tiny tweaks and not big overwhelming actions. 21 days later, it's worth $10,485. And 28 days later, it's grown to $1,342,177. It's the same old story. Like the tortoise and the hare. It's not always the fast and the agile, but the slow and the steady that win the race. Persistence and consistence will win every time. After compounding for 31 days, the value of that penny has grown to an amazing $10,737,418. I hope you're asking yourself, why do I want to know this penny story? Because it's the same compounding over time that will give you amazing results when you apply this process to your repair orders. What happens if we add just one line to each repair order for you today? Let's use wiper blades as an example. Feel free to write these numbers down. Let's say you write 20 repair orders each day, and you work 5 days a week. That would be 100 repair orders a week. And you work 50 weeks a year, so that would be 5,000 repair orders each year. Simple math. What if I offered every customer the opportunity to get new wiper blades? Remember, the wiper blades are made to wear out after 6 months, regardless of your climate or weather conditions. Our question, last time it rained, did you get streaks on your windshield? They say yes, you have that opportunity to move the needle. But does that add anything to the bottom line? I've been told dealership grosses between $7 and $12 per set of wiper blades sold. So let's use $10 as an average. $10 times the 5,000 repair orders equals $50,000. But what if we only get half? Would that $25,000 more in gross, would that affect your paycheck? What if for a bigger job that paid more? What if you got really good at wiper blades and then found another service to ask about on every repair order? What if you were measuring tires on the drive? I know it may not be part of your process, but remember, the process is the bare minimums required to stay employed. Think outside the box. This is about your income. It's about taking care of your clients and keeping their car safe. It's about taking care of your family and providing for their needs. I'm not asking you to oversell. Just be consistent with your efforts. Ask when the items are needed. These are all wear items. If we're consistent and follow our process every time, there will always be opportunity for us to be successful. Remember, 10 seconds daily is about practicing the little things every day that lead to your success. It's now time for the knowledge check. There will be a 10 second break to allow you to answer each question. You may pause in between for more time. Question number one. What is one question you could ask on every walk around that could impact the bottom line? Question two, what is compounding? Question three, how many ticks do you write in a year? Question four, how would it impact your paycheck if you added $10 per repair order written? Question five, how important is safety to your customers? Thanks for joining me, Tim Marvel, your process design expert.